Hi everyone. I wanted to share some new art supplies that I got this week. Um, I am so excited to get these. So I just wanted to um, share with you, see what you think, see if this is something you would be interested in seeing. All right. So I started off with um, this week, I got five coloring books. And I collect coloring books for the artwork. I do color in them. Um, but a couple of years ago, I had a um, Secret Santa uh, co-worker had given me a coloring book, an adult coloring book. And I'm like, okay, well, great, thanks. And I, I played around with a little bit. Oh, and then I started looking at the coloring books. They are not the coloring books of old. And so I really started enjoying the artwork that is in them. So anyway, um, so I've been collecting coloring books. And I do color in them from time to time. But mm, sometimes I just keep them to look at. So I got this one because um, it's a grayscale, and I don't have very many grayscale. I think this is only my second grayscale coloring book, and I just love these. I think they're so cute, and I want to use them in my classroom to help teach about value and um, when we're learning about value, I want to I want to use some coloring books grayscale coloring books to um, show that. Oh, and they're cute. They're just so cute. Adorable little book. So I really like this. I'm going to get, I think there's like two or three other books um, very similar to this. And I think I'm going to get them because I just, I just think they're adorable. Anyway, so I got that. Um, and then my absolute favorite artist right now, because I love pen and ink, is Kirby, is it Roseanne's? Anyway, um, love his pen and ink work. It's just so intricate and just so full of life. And so I got this one, and I do have several of his books. Um, him, and there's another one that I don't have any of that I would like to get. A uh, Jim, I don't remember his name. I've got it written down. But he's got some very intricate pen and ink work as well. So I got this. I'm very excited to have. And there's a lot of flip throughs and things like that on YouTube. So, but I just wanted to show you what I've got. I also got a really good deal on this one. I got this from Book Outlet. So I think um, it's Joanna Baxford and I really like her things. Um, I think I've got uh, Inky, Ivy, Ivy Inky and Butterfly or Inky Ivy and Butterfly, I think it is. I've got that one and now I've got her Christmas book. So, I enjoy, I wanted some Christmas. And Book Outlet, oh my goodness, you can get some really decent prices, but they go quickly. But, um... Yeah, I check there often. <laughs> and then I got this one, Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. Because I just love some of the uplifting, uh, it's just an uplifting book. It's got some writing and things in it, which I like the writing, but I don't like it as far as coloring goes or design goes. But it's nice to come across the page and read something. To everything, there is a season, a time for ev for every purpose under heaven. Um, yeah, I will give you, um, I will give you thanks. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds from Psalms. 
I just like it with all of the uplifting. How beautiful leaves grow old. How full of light and color are their last days. John Burroughs. So, and that's why I got this. I just liked it. You know, it's very uplifting. I like it. The pages seem to be relatively thick. Thicker than a regular coloring book, I guess. But I like it. And then I really wanted, I got this from All Ollie's for $1.99. And I, I thought this was a steal. This is real thick watercolor paper. So you can use what it's made for watercolor use or, or water media. And uh, it's called Rainforest Escapes by Jade Gideon. Um, she apparently is the founder and designer of We Dream in Color. And so as I was looking through this, there are 10 pages that you can open up. And they're also perforated right here. So you can pull them out and um, frame if you want. But they're pretty big. And then you've got some individual pages like this. And it's a pretty book. You've got some individual pages. That's pretty. Then, like I said, there's ten of these that pop out and you have a very large image to paint. So I thought that would be great to just experiment with some watercolor if I wanted to experiment in um, using different color schemes together or different colors together that I don't know how they'll react to each other. Um, just have fun and play. That one's really, whew, that one's kind of intimidating. So I thought this would be fun. Goodbye. Now, all right, first of all, I'll show you. Generally, I have, now this is not new. These are, I buy them. Um, these are my, um, my Primsicolor pencils. So you can tell I pretty much use those most of the time. And so those are the Primsicolor. And they tend to be, they're, they're wax-based, more wax-based than anything. And then this set is my Polychromos gorgeous set. I don't use them very often. This is my patience set because you have to layer and layer and layer and layer and you might want to layer another couple of times. So I have to really be to use these in my art. I just have to know that it's going to take a lot of time to do. It's not a quick, it's not something quick, but uh, they're nice pencils. They just take a lot of time when using them. So that, that's the only two sets of pencils I actually have outside of the Derwin Ink Tents. I love those. I, I've, got, I've got those as well. But I bought new these. I've seen uh, several people talking about these. The Brute, is it Brute Ferner? Um, oily color pencils. So I'm, I heard that these were... Um, tend to be kind of creamy as well. They're oily, but they, they tend to go down um, a little bit more creamy than maybe the polychromos. So I don't know because polychromos is the oil based. So we shall see, but I heard some really good reviews on this. So I thought I would try some budget pencils that won't be as nice as the um, artist grade that I have there, but um, I wanted a budget pencil that I can just play around with in certain things. So this is the square, and apparently they've got round, um, a different line that's rounded, round barreled. Um, this is the square barreled. I heard better things about the square barrel. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to swatch these all out so that I've got a color chart because I never do trust the color 
that's on the barrel. They just very seldom ever match up. So I'm going to do a, a swatching for myself so that I can refer to it. Oh, look at those. Those are so pretty. Um, so we'll see. I didn't figure, um, I didn't think that you would want to watch me actually swatch all of this stuff out. So I will show what they look like after I get done. But, so this is the budget brand that I was hoping could be my budget go-to if I wanted to do, use like polychromos. And I don't know. I could be wrong. Then I wanted something that would be for uh, the budget for my Primsicolor. <laughs> and I've really been wanting to try these out. I've heard some really cool things about them. So I got, I splurged, I got the whole set of Black Widow. colored pencils. So they, all, they they come in the individual sets here, but now I've got the whole set. And that would be 144 pencils total. So I'm really excited about these. I've heard some really good things about them. And they look really cool. And I like that they're not rounded, so they're not going to roll to as much on the desks and stuff so I like that um, really cool they've got some very interesting names which is going to be very you know what color did you use oh I used um, egg yolk or toxic green <laughs> okay fang green Ladybug, Banana, Tarantula, Zephyr Blue. Interesting. So anyway, I got the whole set here. So I will also swap these, swatch these out and let you know, or at least let you see on camera what those look like. And then for those, I got two pencil cases. So I got the black one with as much black background as possible for the Black Widows. Oh, so imaginative. And purple because, you know, I just love purple, as you can tell by the background. Um, these are different. I don't know if I'm going to like them or not, but we will find out. They hold like uh, three pencils, two pens, and you place them sideways like this. You do carry them from here up and down like that. And then, so I don't know. I don't know how I like them. My other cases that you just seen had individual um, little bands there for, for an individual pencil. And these you have to group together. Uh, I've heard pros and cons on it. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I guess I will now. So those are my new art supplies that I'm so excited about. And I just thought I'd share with you my excitement. So have a wonderful, artful, uplifting day, and God bless.